Hi, welcome to another thing you know. Birthmarks are exactly what their name suggests. Seemingly random marks on the skin which are formed at the time of birth. Birthmarks are common, but not everyone has them. And even those who do have them, there are different size, shape and color. What we will find out in this video is how birthmarks are formed and what are its different types. And if you are curious to find the answers to these questions, do click the like button to show your support for the channel. Birthmarks are of two types, vascular and pigmented. Vascular birthmarks are formed when blood vessels in the body are deformed or are irregularly shaped. The most common ones are called macular stains or stock bites, which are faint red marks usually found on a baby's neck. It is estimated that almost half of all babies are born with these, but they usually go away after 18 months. Hemangiomas are vascular birthmarks that are superficial strawberry marks that often grow rapidly in the first six months of birth, but tend to disappear in a few years. These are formed due to one particular cell in the blood vessel rich in the protein CD133. Port wine stains are also common vascular birthmarks and are discoloration of the skin cells which look like spilled red wine on the skin. They usually appear in arms and legs and do not fade away with age. There is a lot less known about pigmented birthmarks, but they are usually harmless, much more common and are formed due to increase in melanin in one spot. Café au lait are the most common pigmented marks that occur on skin. These are light brown and look like coffee marks. Mongolian spots are blue and black patches at the lower back, common in people with darker skin tones. These marks also usually fade away with age. Moles are the third and probably the most common types of birthmarks. These can be brown, tan or black and are usually round in shape. Most people get moles at some point in time. They are completely harmless but large irregularly shaped moles should be examined by a doctor as they might pose the threat of a skin disease. We don't have enough scientific evidence at the moment of any health effects of birthmarks on the body. We are not sure if having or not having these marks mean anything. Most children do have at least one of the above mentioned marks at birth, but they do tend to fade away before the child reaches adolescence. Most of these marks are formed due to irregularly shaped vessels, but there are some studies that hint that an increase in the amount and thickness of these birthmarks with age could be the hallmark of a more serious blood related disease. So now that we know what these birthmarks are and how they are formed, comment down on the video how many of these marks do you have on your body. And in case you haven't checked, it might have already faded away in your case. If you do enjoy watching such educational content, consider subscribing to the channel to learn new things every Tuesday. Thank you for watching.